Hmm. I shouldn't have picked a book just because it was blue. Hey you, I've got a project for school to do, so all those people in the audience expecting the pastels or Steven Universe, sit tight. I'm doing a book report. Yes, I hear your overwhelming cheers. They fill my soul with an abundance of zeal. The worst part about this is I haven't actually finished the entire book. Anyways, my report is on a book titled Catch-22, written by Joseph Heller. He Heller? Heeler? Heiler. Hit if the title reminds you of a saying, it should. Because this is where the phrase comes from. It's a fictional novel that takes place during World War II and follows a fellow named Josarian, a man in the Air Force with an evident goal to live through the war. He's very keen to the fact that there is a war going on, and he makes it clear that even though people dying in the war is inevitable, he will not accept the cold embrace of death. The book also shares tales of his friends strung together loosely related to him. Often these chapters are named off of one of these characters and focuses on them. Both he and all his acquaintances are trapped in a loop of hazardous missions based on an absurd rule of Catch-22. If you don't know what that saying I mentioned earlier is, well it's basically like living in hell. I mean... It's a bureaucratic system that is contradictory in guidelines and goals, leaving a person with no way of escape from a certain status based on them. So basically any argument with my parents. Michaela, that boy is as gay as sparkles are difficult to clean out of your hair. Very. Daryl, is this true? Michaela, if that was true, I wouldn't tell you. Well, are you gay? Yeah. See, he's not gay. Michaela, he just said so! But if he was really gay, he wouldn't have told me. Michaela, that makes absolutely no sense! The squadron's superior officers rhetorically fling them into dangerous situations for unequally mundane reasons. People within the squadron are stuck in these life-threatening missions because of this bureaucratic policy. And the book seems to have at least one goal of highlighting the dangers of such a system in its theme, that it can gain such absolute power of the people under it or something. Honestly, it was hard to find time to read this. I even tried to utilize an audiobook version of this, but two hours into it and I realized that I was thinking about the Lego Batman movie and not about apple cheeks. I don't think that's any fault of the book, just kind of the condition I had to deal with. It started getting interesting after the three hour mark, but by then it was Sunday and the report was due Monday. Yeah. I'd read more if I knew I could spare the time for it. Honestly, some of the back and forth dialogue was pretty funny. Read this if you have the time or the drive.